Hi, this is Oli, today from our studio at our manufacturer with our CEO, Edouard Melon. Hi, Edouard. Thanks, Oli. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Today, we will be talking about the watches and wonders novelties of 2021. So, Edouard, what was the topic of watches and wonders novelty this year? You're, Oli, you're always right. There's always a topic when we go to those fairs. And this year, the topic was branding. Um, if you've seen the keynote that we did, uh, I wanted to express a little bit our vision of branding. You know, a few years ago, we, uh, we removed the logos on most of our watches, and there's a reason for that. We believe watches should be recognizable by their features, by how they inter integrate into the collection of, of Moser. And uh, it's been a process that took years for us because we, we come from pretty far away when we took over the brand in 2012. And, uh, and this year, I really wanted to talk about it. So we started on the 1st of April with a special edition, an art piece. We'd like to make it a tradition that on the 1st of April, we launch something special, uh, something that maybe raise questions, <laughs> create discussions, polemics, uh, polarizes the market. And uh, we'll see. We have some ideas for the years to come. But this year, it was a collaboration with a French artist called Seconde Seconde. His art is about swapping hands. So he takes vintage watches. He's very active in, in the watch business. And removing one of the hands, replacing it with a symbolic, pixelized symbol. Symbolic symbol, yeah. Uh, to express something. So he did a lot of things on Rolex, Patek, etc. And we became friends a few years ago. And I invited him to Baselworld uh, 2016, 17 can't remember, to expose there, to present his, his art. And then I said, you know, I know you work with on bigger, bigger brands, but would you, what would you do on Moser? And he came up with the idea of minimalism. Moser is this research of going to the essence of the function. And he represented that through a pixelized eraser, which he used to replace the hour end on one of our concepts. So it's, it's a very special piece. It's not for everybody, but it I think for me, it's a very important element because it expresses the vision of Moser. So it totally tell us, does. maybe you can show it to us. Yes, of course, I will be pleased to. So here we have the Endeavour Center Seconds, Second Second, as Edward mentioned before. We have the eraser, which is the hour hand on that particular watch. We have a 40 millimeter stainless steel case with our brand DNA Funky Blue concept dial. On the back side, we will have a sapphire case back, which shows you our in-house produced HMC 200 movement. This is an automatic movement, which beats at three hearts and has a power reserve of three days, meaning you can take it off on Fume Friday and you will still have some energy on Mosa Monday. As Edward also mentioned, this one is exclusively available only through HMOS or NC and limited to 20 pieces. You're right, but I didn't say it yet. <laughs> uh, not yet. <laughs> so uh, exclusively available on our e-commerce. It's uh, yeah, that was on the take care number twenty six. <laughs> Uh, on our e-commerce and uh, 20 pieces. When you buy the watch, you actually get the original hand with it. So you can have a normal, very rare concept from HMOSA. And you also get a beautiful art piece that you can put on, uh, on your wall. I think we're going to try to integrate uh, a picture of that. I hope you can see it, uh, which is very beautiful. Nice, that sounds great. So other novelties we had, I heard um, we did the uh, Endeavour Turbio. With you heard, I'm sure you've seen it. I have also seen it, exactly. <laughs> with yeah, the tiger stone side. dial. Yes, stone dial is something we've been working on now for a couple of year, or years. Yeah, at some point we were pretty much 99, 95% of our dials were Fumé dials. It became our signature. It's part of this process of creating the key features of Moser, but we've seen more and more brands creating Moser dials as well. So we thought, you know, we need to expand a little bit our reach. And we introduced the Vanta Black was a huge success. It's become also a signature of Moser, this amazing, very, very dark material, nano tubes of carbon that I invite you to discover in probably another video from Ali. Uh, but uh, then we started moving into other materials like uh, glass with the uh, Aventurine. We use that in the perpetual moon to create like the Milky Way effect with the perpetual moon rotating. Then we moved to um, malachite, which was the actual first uh, natural stone, and we did that in du for Dubai edition last year. It was a huge success. Um, Heinrich Moser loved the malachite. He, create, he created watches with malachite. He created objects like ashtrays and, and wall clocks with malachite. But I, I felt like malachite 
is, is and I love the, the malachite, don't get me wrong, but I thought we, I need a stone that is more vibrant that would represent the same kind of effect, the dynamism that you would see on a, on a traditional fumé mosaic. And that's when I discovered the tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is a natural stone. It's actually a monocrystalline stone. Um, it has different uh, fibers inside. There's um, amosite and crocidolite. It actually has different colors. There's blue, there's yellow, there's red, depending on the transformation of the stone, of the fibers. If you heat it, there's an oxidation, it turns the... the um, Oxide more red? Exactly. It creates its iron oxidation. So it obviously becomes red. And then we started playing with that. And yeah, we wanted to do something quite modern. So you have those beautiful horizontal lines and this beautiful flying tourbillon, but nothing to disturb. But I'm talking too much, so show the watch maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I will do. So here we have the Endeavour tourbillon with the Falcon's Eye concept dial. For us, it was very um, sophisticated to produce those dials as we wanted to have very clearly, as Edward mentioned, these nice lines on the dial. We wanted to have the perfect either one for the falcon's eye, but also on the second model we have available on the ox eye, which has this red hue on this um, ox eye stone. The case diameter of both these models are 40 millimeters, and at six o'clock position, we have a flying tourbillon with uh, our famous double hairspring. The double hairspring, I will explain it a bit later in another um, Ask Oli series. The double hairspring are two flat hairsprings lying on top of each other, which optimizes the accuracy as well as the isochronism of the watch. Um, the watch features our in-house produced HMC 804 movement, flying turbio, one minute flying turbio with a solid red gold rotor and it also has a power reserve of three days. How many pieces? I don't know if we said it already. Uh, not yet, so both pieces are limited to only each 50 pieces and the production capacity of this year is around 25 pieces for each model, so it's very, very rare. Maybe we can mention a little bit how we make, make those dials because not only it's difficult to find the right stones, it's natural stones, semi-pressure stones, so there are a lot of you know, small things inside, so you need to find the perfect one that has no crack, no impurity. You need to make sure there's contrast, as you said, horizontal lines, but then you still need to produce them. Yes, exactly. So we still need to produce them. So first we start with the um, base material of, of this falcon eye stone, or rock. of this tiger's eye stone, exactly with this big rock. And then it's very traditionally, um, as when we have the, the base material, um, it needs to be sewn, it, uh, it needs to be cut. It's not hand sewn, but... Yeah. Not, not hand sewn, <laughs> but it's like, yeah, very traditionally done. And then um, once we have this um, base material ready, it needs to be polished. Um, this is a very sophisticated step um, for, for the experts as we really don't want to have any inclusions on the dial. It needs to be perfectly and as Edward mentions, we wanted to have the perfect stones with these nice lines on it and they will be polished and then after it's polished, of course, we will have different um, quality controls in terms of aspects. But they also set on the metal plate i mean the base is still a plate so that's why it makes it a little bit thicker than a exactly it's a little bit thicker as it always needs to be polished and then checked again and then also um for the oxide as to do to receive or to achieve this um, red hue it is um, heated at a particular temperature and then we will receive as we have shown before um this nice oxide. um reddish color which is then called the, the oxide so they all they all identical no, they are not all identical and that's what makes them, even though they are limited to 50 pieces, actually it makes them quite unique as every dial is, especially it's kind of unique. It is um, um, cut, it is polished for its own and not every dial is the same and that's what makes these There's pieces a lot of difference rare. of colors and we put the, the, the dials in the office next to each other and you have <laughs> everything. But yeah, as you said, we polish them but since it's fibers, it's interesting because you see the small fibers pop popping up. It cannot be perfectly flat and like glass. It, you see, if you make a macro shot and it's funny, we made some, some macro shots, maybe we can include one in the in the video you see like those small uh, uh, dots ap appearing that's the beauty because it's a natural stone and that's so, what makes them very special yeah and they we just started delivering them so if you go to the Moser stores and you're lucky you might see one of them maybe <laughs> maybe 
But uh, yeah, that's for the stones. That's and for the stones, exactly. And then what I heard and also saw, we released another watch, yeah, which is mega cool, as we say cool. here uh, in Swiss German. So maybe you can talk a bit about that. Yeah, you, you, you can talk about the watch itself. Maybe I explain a little bit the process. This is a watch that uh, the idea came in the middle of the lockdown last year when we said uh, we want to create a watch when the, we behind all this uh, lockdown and, and crisis is behind us. We want to go out and meet our friends, socialize, go to the beach, whatever. And we need for that a mega cool watch, which is, as you said, a very Swiss German expression. Now, that became the, the code name for the project of that, the development of that watch. And uh, the day when it wasn't you, it was somebody else who assembled the first watch with uh, one of our watchmakers. Because Oli is a great master watchmaker. Uh, the reaction of that, 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 um, that gentleman was, wow, mega cool. So we decided that's the name of the watch and it stays. I like when some people said, ah, it's a weird name for a watch. It is. I, I agree. But it's cool and we like it it makes us i mean i dream of being in the store one day and he hearing somebody going and said hey do you have that mega cool watch i think that would be pretty cool. great yes <laughs> of course it is. but enough about that name Shh, maybe you show us the watch yes please so here we have the pioneer center seconds mega cool with a blue lagoon fume dial and the hands are also very special so actually the hands maybe are familiar with the hands as they are also used for the streamlined center seconds and flyback chronograph so the hands they have a ceramic based material which is called globalite and they contain um, super luminova which means also in the dark they will lighten up so they're very three-dimensional they are very three-dimensional exactly and then maybe you can also see it on the dial if i um, put a different angle on the watch we have a transparency logo which which our logo the h motion c logo on the back side we have also our hmc 200 movement with a power reserve of three days for the pioneer center seconds mega cool or for the pioneer collection in general what is important also to note is that we have a water resistance of 12 atmosphere so if the crown is screwed back in you can even wear it while you are swimming different straps here you have a textile technical textile Blue Lagoon color? But Blue Lagoon color, straps, right? yes, we also have gray colors, but we also have a stainless steel strap which can be mounted with an uh, easy adjustment in the clasp, so you can extend it even while you are wearing it. But of course, we will also have a rubber strap available, so you can also wear it while you are jogging or whatever you do with the watch. Not sure we mentioned the size, 42.8 millimeter, and it's not limit limited. No, exactly. So the center seconds version is not a limited edition. However, we are limited in production and um, we can recommend that you maybe call your AD if you would like to purchase one of these watches. I think there's going to be about 100 produced this year. However, we have the, I like to say the big sister that is uh, limited. Exactly. The big sister of the Pioneer Center Seconds Mega Cool then is the Pioneer Turbio. This is also limited to only 50 pieces. And if you would like to know where the pieces are available, please send me an email to ask oli at h mosercom and I will be happy to further assist. And that's Oli. And that's and me, the expert. exactly. Thank you, Oli. You're most uh, welcome. Thank you for joining and see you next time. Bye. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>